Hi everyone, my name is Sabrina Mir and I'm a teaching assistant with the Young Scientist Program at USC. Welcome to week 7 of the Special Education YouTube videos. This week we'll be making oobleck. Before we make our oobleck, we'll be talking about three types of matter. The first one is a solid, the second is a liquid, and last is a gas. So take a minute to write down what you know about solids, liquids, and gases. So solids are when molecules are held very tightly together and don't really move. So you can think of this as maybe an ice cube or a computer or a cell phone. Those are all solids. Next is a liquid. In liquids, the molecules are held more loosely and they are able to flow. So liquids are water, any type of drink basically like milk, that's also a liquid. The last one is a gas. So this is harder because you can't really see gas that often but gases are very, very loosely spread molecules that are able to move around very quickly. So a gas is maybe when you are boiling a pot of water and you see the steam coming up, that is water vapor, that is a gas. Do you know any substances that are two types of matter? So for example, a solid and a liquid. Oobleck is something called a non-Newtonian fluid. So basically it isn't a solid, liquid, or gas, it can be more than one. In this case, it is a solid and a liquid. So this is a fluid that acts like a solid or a liquid depending on how you handle it. So this is affected by something called viscosity. Viscosity is basically the resistance to how freely something will move. So something that is harder to move or thicker, like honey for example, is more viscous than like water, which is not very viscous because it moves very freely. Now let's make some oobleck together. So here are the materials that you'll need. You'll need some type of bowl or tray. I use an aluminum tray. You'll also need some water and cornstarch. So it will be a two to one cornstarch to water ratio. This means that for every cup of cornstarch you use, you should use half a cup of water. I used one cup of cornstarch and half a cup of water. You will also need food coloring if you want to dye your oobleck and a spoon for mixing. Here you see me coloring the water before I begin. Then I'm adding some cornstarch and the water together and I begin to mix. So again, I used one cup of cornstarch and half a cup of water and I put a couple drops of food coloring in that water before I put it in. And here I am just mixing it together. You can see that it's a little too runny at this point, but it's still stiff so I'm mixing it together and then I will slowly add the cornstarch in until it isn't as liquidy. You'll know your oobleck is done when there's no more runny water or when it's not really that stiff. So once I'm done making my oobleck, I will show you how it works. So here I am hitting it with a spoon. Look how it acts like a solid. It's not giving way at all. And then I will also begin to scoop it and you'll see it acting like a liquid as well. As you saw, the oobleck was both a solid and a liquid depending on how you handled it. So what's cool about oobleck is that it can be different states of matter at room temperature, while other things might need to be heated up or cooled down to change from a solid to a liquid to a gas. So for example, if you take water, it needs to be frozen and cooled down to make ice, but it needs to be heated up to make gas. This is not the same for oobleck. It can be a solid and a liquid at the same temperature. Some other examples of non-Newtonian fluids are ketchup, shampoo, honey, blood, custard, and paint. So the diverse scientist for this week is a woman by the name of Cherry Murray. She's an American physicist who was the former dean of the Harvard School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. We talked a lot about physics in these videos, so she is another example of physicist. Physics was involved here at the different states of matter. Cherry Murray does a lot of different types of physics, including how light scatters and bends, something called soft condensed matter and complex fluids, but she also works on different types of states of matter, which is what we talked about in this video. This is the last video for the special education YouTube videos for the spring. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much.